What's your thoughts on government cover-ups or covert societies attempting to control humanity? Do you believe in ancient astronauts, intergalactic communication or extraterrestrial visitations? Ever had an experience with disembodied spirits or the paranormal universe? Are these subjects fact or fiction? Each week, Tony and Eddie explore these unbelievable realities and beyond. Exclusively on Truth Be Told. Hello and welcome to Truth Be Told with Tony and Eddie. I'm your host, Tony Sweet. And I'm Eddie Connor. Welcome, everybody. Guess what, Tony? What is that? It is time for another edition of our favorite show, The Psychic Cafe. Oprah. Today on the show, our celebrity psychic will be answering your questions with her intuitive expertise. Just call in at 323-524-2599 or Skype us at UBN Radio, the number one. And, uh, of course, we're going to be streaming to live to Facebook. I love that. So today we're featuring the gorgeous, talented, petite flower princess, giver, <laughs> goddess, uplifting, effervescent Rachel Angeline. She's live in house with us, and she's also going to be serving up a little extra TLC for Tony's viewers and listeners. And Rachel has been practicing tarot since she was 14 years old and has been giving intuitive insight via her cards ever since. That's right. She also enjoys studying the occult sciences, learning more about the paranormal, ghosts, and all the fun stuff, as well as hanging out with Stanley. That's her little puppy. Working out on the treadmill, writing, and always finding a way to use her broadcast journalism background in every area of her life. And this hour, Eddie and I will be streaming live right here on UBNRadio.com, Channel 1. And feel free to join the chat room, ask questions there, and give us a call at 323-524-2599 to get your mini reading. That's right. That's M-I-N-I reading, not many, many readings. And on that note, please put your hands together and welcome celebrity psychic Rachel Angeline. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Truth Be Told. I'm Eddie Connor. And I'm Tony Sweet. And we have with us Rachel Angeline. This is our favorite episode of the month. This is our Psychic Cafe episode, and we have <laughs> sound effects. <laughs> Rachel I? Angeline, Celebrity Psychic. Yay! So today we're going to be doing many readings, and I'm going to hook you up, set you up on how we're going to do this exactly right out of the shoot, and it is this. When you come to the call, please be prepared with a question, a question, not lots of questions, a question that's very important to you, something that's pressing on you, or something that you just are curious about. Rachel and I are going to ask you for your birth name and your birth date. You don't have to give the year if you don't want to. That way you don't have to lie about how old you is, okay? Because <laughs> we don't roll like that here on Truth Be Told, do we, Tony? Not at all. Only on Fridays. <laughs> and we're going to ask you your birth name, birth date. We're going to ask you a specific question. And if you say, I'm going to ask about career, now what am I going to do? I'm going to say, what are you currently doing for career right now? And to give us one specific question, focus, or concern with that specific question. And then Rachel's going to shuffle her cards and look all like she's from June, June, Charlie's Angels. Okay. <laughs> 21st century Charlie's Angels. Call me Charlie. Uh, I love it. <laughs> call me Charlie Horse. I'm from the South. Can I call you, can I call you Bosley? What about Bosley? Yeah. Ah, jinx. Sign me a Coke. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm yeah. not going to be Bosley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think we're ready to go. I think we're rocking and rolling. What do you think, Mr. Tom? I think we're ready to. And uh, we have a an amazing actress, comedian, and uh, she is on the new season, the new revision of Mad TV. We have Michelle Ortiz on the phone. Oh Michelle, you there? Hello, hello. How you doing, Michelle? <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> Happy Friday, you guys. How are you? Good. How are you doing? You're very effervescent right out of the shoot. We Can't you just her. feel her little sparkly energy flying out of her hot... Oh, your heart chakra, not your hot chakra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Michelle, so we have your name. We're going to ask you your birth date. You don't have to give us the year. So what's your birth date? 8-15, August 15th. Beautiful. Now, what's your specific question, focus, or concern? And then we're going to dive right in and just start telling you lots of good stuff about you. Okay. My question is, will Mad TV get picked up for a season two? 
Oh, what's your other question? <laughs> <laughs> you could do what's the um, Yeah. I do have a – you guys want a backup question? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're do- how – how will this year's pilot season go for me? Oh, look at you. Okay. So I'm going to just launch in really quick. Is that okay? Here we go. Yeah. First of all, I'm just going to give you some like weird off the cuff stuff first until I can get a little bit into your energy. You feel like one of those people to me that your heart is in the right place, your energy is in the right place. You really believe that you have a gift and you do and you're here for all the right reasons doing what you're currently doing for a living, Michelle. I also feel that you have felt sensed and known since you were a little girl yourself that you were destined to be, and I'm going to use the term in the public spotlight. And as long as you follow your heart while you're in it, it really doesn't matter what you do as long as you love it and enjoy it yourself. Now, did you practice your autograph recently? Or rather, no, you didn't practice it. Did you change your autograph up recently by recently the last month to six months? (laughs) Um, uh, Well, I didn't change it, but I, well, I mean, I guess maybe I did. I added something to it because I thought it was too... You couldn't even tell who it was. Before, it was just like a scribble. Good. Now you can tell it's an M and an O. Yeah. Good. Well, And that makes a big difference because that, you know, the funny thing about the subconscious mind is this. Your subconscious is driving you to change your autograph a little bit. There is a part of you that likes your anonymity and you also like the spotlight at the same time. You must have some Gemini somewhere in your rising or your moon, honey. Because you like to be in the spotlight, but you it's easier for you to be in the spotlight when you're working, just not not just hanging out wanting to be dancing on tables and coffins and stuff like that, going, Look at me. Uh, uh, yes. So let me see what this, I, li- I, I like I like attention where it's due, well, not when it's not where it's not needed. <laughs> see, and that's an even exchange of energy. I also feel with you, you are going to make it. I'm going to go in and ask about the outcome of the pilot season for you, but then I'm going to also ask about if Mad TV will be picked up. I'm just I'm being told if it is, it's by the hair of their chinny chin chin. And I'm going to tell you this: yeah. if, if some of these people that think they know what they do and up into upper offices that have never acted a day in their life would keep their fingers out of the pie of the creative people, then this show <laughs> would have been doing a lot better. And did they give you a lousy time spot too? Yeah, Tuesday nights at nine. Girl, what? Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Rachel talk to you for a minute. Then I'm gonna tune into some more of your epibescent, sparkly, hot energy. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. 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 Hi, Michelle. Hi there. Hi. Um, okay. So I asked about your pilot season, and what what's coming up for you is um, I'm getting the hanged. Are you familiar with tarot cards? Um, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So I'm getting the hanged man, which is um, a man hanging from a tree upside down, but in this um, kind of a precarious situation, um, you're being um, you're being enlightened about things. So I feel like even though you're kind of feeling like a little unsure, basically about you know the, the TV show and kind of going into pilot season, you're going to be very aware of and feel good about the opportunities that are going to come from you actually doing the Mad TV. Um, the second card, yeah. I'm, yeah, the second card I'm getting for you is uh, the Ten of Pentacles, which is one of my favorite cards, because you are in an an incredible relationship and very equal, and it's the Ten of Pentacles, so it's like you're at the pinnacle of your career or at within a relationship, whether it's your agent, your um, your your partner. Um, if you have a partner, uh-huh. um, and it's basically they're the two people in the castle, and they just have everything going for them, and, and it's in the center, so that's really strong right now. And then, the, <laughs> and then, oh my god, no, no, that that's very accurate. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> um, and then um, I'm also getting the the eight of wands, which is a lots of communications, comings and goings, and it's very very positive. So I would say that you're going to be getting lots of auditions, lots of. Um, calls for doing interviews, yep. things like that. Um, the underlying influence that I got for you, um, I actually pulled two cards because they came together. I got the Seven of Cups, which is a little, um, there's a lot of different like energies out there, so be aware of that, and it can kind of be sometimes disillusioning or kind of draw you in a, in kind of the wrong way. But the other card that's coming over it is is the Justice card, which is also like, so just go with your gut when it comes to like, 
if you're not feeling right about something, make sure it's completely on the up and up. Make sure it's balanced. Justice is very balanced. It's also um, Libra. We're going into Libra into October. Um, and well, actually, we're already in it. Um, and so just make sure that the underlying influence is just really make sure everything is within balance. And then I just picked one card for um, the Mad TV um, question. And I got the three of wands, which is opportunity. So right now, the, the one man is holding the staff in his hand. So right now, there's an opportunity. It's going to be there. But there's two other opportunities that um, maybe a different network might be interested in something or I, I don't know what I'm, I'm just kind of going with that. So there's just something. So it's, it's the opportunity card is great, but it's not like, ooh, the 10 of pentacles in that situation. Do you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? So it's, it's, there's yeah. a lot, but there's a lot of great stuff for you. And I feel really good about your pilot season. I do too. And it's, I, I was so giddy <laughs> over here because the thing that comes up for me is there's going to be three things that come to you. Um, they're all going to be so ridiculously different from each other. One is you're going to be like a romper room teacher with an Uzi. The <laughs> other one, you're going to be like, like, you know, a nun who like rescues a baby from a waterfall. And the, the other one, you know, <clears throat> they're ridiculous. There's no, I want to see that one. Yeah, I do too. Your, your range is crazy good. There's a lot of depth underneath this wonderful light that you have. So I'm feeling three things, two contracts for you coming up, which is so synonymous with what uh, Rachel is saying here. Um, there's an international trip coming up for you. I don't know if you know about it yet, but it's going to be very fruitful for you. It's going to be international for sure. I see and hear you shooting two things at one time. And do you have a cat? Do you call your cat something funny? <laughs> yeah, fat Carl. Oh, my God. Oh, my What's God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm covered with goosebumps. Literally, I heard a woman in spirit say, tell her about the fat cat. That's, that's what he said. And I have it written no. right here. I swear <laughs> to God. That's amazing. And then there's the C, the K sound right here. That's crazy cool to me. Well, Carl loves you, honey. Carl is an old oh. soul. Now, Carl might be temperamental, honey, but you need to feed him what he wants when he wants it. I'm telling you. Or he's going to be all oh bitchy on God. you. That sounds like Eddie. <laughs> You guys, my heart is pounding. No way. Um, do you know the story about Morgan Freeman uh, in the movie Shawshank Redemption? Uh, what story? The, no, I, the, I guess I don't. The story is that the the it's Tim Robbins. He's the lead. And then the co- uh, yeah. star is supposed to be a white guy. So all these white guys go out and they audition for the part. Well, then, you know, Morgan's like, this role speaks to me. They're not asking for me. I'm going to go in and I'm going to read for it anyway. He didn't change a single line in the entire movie because it just fit. And then can you even imagine anybody other than Morgan Freeman playing opposite Tim Robinson, Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> No. Yeah, no way. Yeah. I had no, I didn't know that. Yeah, and you've got something like that that's going to be coming up for you. Um, so it, it, it won't be what whatever your physicality is or whatever your hair color is or whatever, but you're going to go out there anyway because that's how you roll, Michelle, honey. You're like, back off, bitch, I will cut you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, my God, you guys, my heart is pounding. <laughs> this is crazy. And is there a damn... D A M N. Did you see a dam recently, or something about dams or water or anything like that? Um, I was recently in Rosarito in Mexico, like two weeks ago, just for the weekend. We were by we were by the beach. Okay, maybe. And whatever it is, there's somebody on the other side talking about that. And I'm not a good medium. I, they just squeak past me, and I try to grab them by the ankle before they can get loose. But there is this <laughs> uh -huh. woman over there. I don't know how long she's been over there that she's passed away. But she keeps saying something about a change purse. Now, most women don't carry a change purse anymore. But she's got her little change purse within her pocketbook. When's the last time you heard the word pocketbook, honey? So in her pocketbook, she's got a little change <laughs> purse, and I feel this woman has an M sound, and it's a unique sound with an M in it, or you could have called her something with an M in it, but she's passed away. Sometimes she'd make her own little outfits look kind of cool. Sometimes they did. Sometimes she didn't quite hit the mark, but she still loved her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh my God! I mean, that could be my grandma. Her name is Maria Vicente. Uh, Hello. Oh there you go. my God! M. Now I got goosebumps, and my heart's beating out of my middies. <laughs> <gasps> He's not wearing a sports no. coat. Yeah. And then lastly, there's a male around you uh, with the T or N sound of the name, like Tony, uh, Tiny, Teeny. 
Um, <laughs> something with the T or N male. Pay attention to that male when they come into your life because it'll have something to do with work. And lastly, there could literally be a little change in your representation if some people don't get their act together, tie their shoes up, and pay attention. You know what I'm saying to you? <laughs> Oh, that is the truth right there. That is the truth right there. Yeah, I'm actually going through something with that right now. Okay, well, you call us. We'll come and we'll cut them. <laughs> <laughs> or at least read that. Oh, my God, Anything you guys. Um, I'm like, I have chills. Oh, good. Yay, Hercules. Good. I, I just, I just want to ask, I just want to have one final card for you. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. And here's the card. Okay, so, well, they came in two again. So I got the Wheel of Fortune and then <gasps> the Three of Cups, which are the three ladies. So just really be in touch with your, um, your. Uh, they're the three muses, love, hope, and faith. So just really be in touch with, um, oh, yeah, three, the three, three things. I know. So, um, yeah, well, that and also just your... Um, just the love of what you do, like the, the creative, because they, they speak to creative people, the three muses. So just the, the uh -huh. he was saying, the three ideas, and then the Wheel of Fortune is your time. It's your time right now. So it's just really be pay attention and really, I can't wait to see the next thing and, you do. And last, <laughs> you know what they just told me when you were saying that, Rachel? They said that you, Miss Michelle, do not like ego. That you it you I, you don't like it. You don't like it when people are playing the diva card, male or female. That would be amoeba instead of a diva. <laughs> but whenever they, when they're acting <laughs> out, uh, whether they're a listers or not, you made a vow to the universe. They're telling me that when you became famous, 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 you would not pull one of those diva moments. That you would treat everybody the way you want to be treated. I just got chills. Oh my god! I, I just I just went to an I just uh, recently went to an event for somebody that I look I I've looked up to my whole life and um, she gave a little bit of a speech but there was something she said like basically saying like you know ego is what gets you an Emmy or a Grammy but I so disagree with that like I, I don't think I don't think that's I don't think that's right to have either. that type of mentality, you know? I, I don't know. So that's either. crazy. Yeah. I agree. I agree. <laughs> and I have to say, when I interviewed her on my other show, entertainment show, Honor with Tony Sweet, she walked in with a giraffe suit on. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see pictures. It Is that your adorable. Halloween costume? <laughs> oh. It was adorable. That, that was for you, Tony. That was for you. Well, thank you, my dear. Well, we appreciate you calling in. You know we love you. And, and uh, anytime, call back and come God, back and see us. thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you, thank you. You just made my weekend. Yay! Yay. All right. Thank you All so right. much, Michelle. Michelle, Michelle you. Ortiz. We'll talk to you soon. Ah, uh, thank you, guys. Love you. Bye. Right. Love, love you, too. You. Good energy, man. Isn't she Goodness. wonderful? I love her sparkly yeah, I'm pants. I'm glad she called in. Well, let's go on to the next one. We have Natalie calling in. Uh, let's see. Natalie, you're live on with Rachel and Hi. Eddie. Hi. Hi. I, I'm so excited to be on live with you guys. Oh, my God. We are, too. When's your birthday? My birthday is July 7th. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a psychic kit that and you have a child. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. I'm getting a psychic kit that you have a child, Natalie. I'm joking. He's kidding. Oh my gosh. You heard her. Yes. What's her name? Her name's Delilah. I heard oh, an L. Delilah. I heard an L. Delilah. I heard an L. And so, Natalie, what is your specific question, focus, or concern? So, I have something really heavy weighing on my heart. And um, it's someone that just passed away recently. Mm. And I just, I need to, I just want reassurance. I want to know if she's here. Specifically, Delilah, I feel like she missed out on a lot, especially with my daughter being um, her first and only grandchild. She all, you know, just so, so many things. I don't want to say too much, but right. um, I just need reassurance. And I'm going to ask you two quick questions. What, what is the name of the person who passed away? Her name? Yes, her name. Norma. Norma. Okay. And yes. The, and what year did she pass? She passed this year. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So hold on one second. It's there's it's a little loud in the background, so it'll take a second. I, I will tell you that I feel like she's making her presence known. 
And this is this she is, is yeah oh yeah, absolutely and I don't know who has dreamt about her who's Leslie Lily Lynn Linda Lolita um nobody nobody in our family starts with L oh it doesn't so have we, to start with L it could be an L in the middle of the name like Colleen uh, uh any any L sound first name last name nickname or middle name who's the female with the L's that could Colleen. Have, um. Anything with an L in the middle. I mean, that would be me, Natalie. No, yeah, it's not you. And then her, oh, I'm sorry. What was that, babe? Sorry, my husband's here, and he's just, he's skeptical, but he said her her middle name was um, Libya. Thank you. Tell your husband we love him. <laughs> Sending him love. He said, thank you. We love you. <laughs> and so sometimes when you're really feeling close to somebody like that, it's hard to be able to interpret it because it's a mental thing that we're doing here. But what we're talking about is a lot of feeling and activity. This is going to be, I know this is a common question and kids have lollipops and kids have suckers, but what's the weird thing about suckers and lollipops connected to you or your little girl where uh, Norma was concerned? Uh, Norma was concerned with suckers or lollipops, just her choking, but it wasn't with suckers or lollipops. It was just in general with just food. It's nice. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. And then I'm going to change. I can't, I can't think of, no, we don't really, I mean, we always, no, she doesn't eat candy like that. We don't give her candy. She's only two. Yeah. Okay. What she there? I'm just telling you what she's showing me. It's she's going to the lollipops. Do you remember the little lollipops when we were younger? Well, you're probably really young, but when we were younger, they were the little thick. Lollipops yes, and, I do. And they had the little. I do. Round. Ask the husband. Yeah, the real. The Is little, she giving Delilah one? Yes, it's meaning it's a metaphor, but she is around. I don't. She keeps showing me also something with the door, the door, the door. What happened to the door? Did the door move? The door. Fingers. Getting in the um, or door the door. That's not my kid. I'm sorry. We're at a, a studio right now. Um, the door. Anything with the door? No, I can't think of anything with the door. The door. There's st- doors all over our house. The fingers. Girl. <laughs> Something about being like yeah, maybe be it, aware of the, some, the doors. Yeah, you know the door stops. The little rubber things mm-hmm. on the back of the doors. Natalie. Uh huh. There's, some, yes. there's something about that. I know it sounds weird, but was your daughter playing with something like that recently? Like making it pop or making it uh, like jiggle or whatever? She does that all the time with that. Okay. Yeah, that, she always goes back there and plays with that. Okay, she watches her do that. Specifically do she that. She watches Delilah play with a little thing behind yeah. the door. Yeah. Was she playing with that recently? Yes. Sure she uh-huh. does. Yeah, but she's just yes, yes. I'll let you go ahead. Yeah, no, Rachel. no, that's okay. Um, okay, so I just asked kind of what your question was about. Um, uh, is she around or what? What's going on with Norma? Um, is your is your dad still alive or grandfather? Or? My dad. He. My dad is still alive. Yes. Okay, so I'm getting I'm getting the emperor card, and I'm feeling like um, what she maybe wants, just like take you were concerned about um her not getting a chance to be the grandmother and everything to your daughter so um what what i'm getting right right now is she wants to tell you to make sure that you do what you can to make sure the grandfather has some sort of relationship i'm feeling are you kidding me right now i'm having i have chills right now norma wants to know that no matter what we do to make sure that she has a relationship with grandpa yeah, and then um, and the second card I'm oh getting for gosh. you, the second card I'm getting for you is the foundation card. It's um, it's basically a mason, and he's building um, he's building a church is what he's doing. And so, because of your foundation and how you've grown up, um, she knows that you are going to be very good at providing that foundation for your daughter for the grandfather and your family. And then the next card that I'm getting for you is the Knight of Wands, which is, um, it's a kindred spirit card. Uh So to me, your mother is going to be around, or grandmother is going to be around quite She's my mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law is going to be around, like she's coming and going, kind of. She checks in and checks out. The comings and going. It's a kindred spirit. It's fiery. It's an amazing, like, great energy to have around. So don't be scared or anything like that and then the underlying influence i'm getting for you is the six of swords which 
that is a passage card. And so basically it's, it's, it's a little family in a boat and they're, they're, they're um, going into calmer waters. So just know that your, your um, mother-in-law is going into calmer waters. She's there for you. She wants you to be going into calmer waters. And then I just kind of pulled an overall card for you, which is a six of wands, which is a victory card. It's somebody, you know, a, a man up on his horse. So just don't, don't be, don't be down about this. Just really mm -hmm. embrace what, what um, she gave to you and just keep those relationships going. And I, I have a really good feeling. She's just there for you. And you, and if you want to talk to her, you just talk to her. I know that sounds kind of strange, but <laughs> no, it doesn't sound strange. It's really good. And I'm going to talk very, very quickly, Natalie, because we have another caller uh, waiting to get in. But I know okay. this is going to sound weird, but I'm being told that I'm sorry that I would stir stuff up. That sometimes she. Oh my gosh. She and she she's apologizing for that. She's also saying to what's your husband's name? <laughs> His name is Anthony. Well, she's telling him to... Come here, baby. Hold on. I'm putting on speaker so he can hear. She's, she's... Yes. Whatever it is that Anthony does, he's to be careful with his fingers, which I think you were I picking that up while ago. But watch his hands, watch his fingers. He and needs to be paying attention or a saw or something with whatever he does. Um, and also, find out if Anthony was privately crying in his truck. Uh, when he had some downtime by himself, that it feels like he was having a, a moment by himself, and it feels like he was talking you to You were her. having a moment by yourself in a car. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then th there might have been some tears, and he was saying some things, and I feel like she was right there with him, and then there was a man with her in spirit as well. So there's, she was sitting in the front with him when he was having private time, and then there's a man sitting behind her, also holding the space for her. So watch the fingers. Stop. That's her grandpa. She's also saying, stop worrying and she's being absolutely putting her fist down on the table she's like natalie stop worrying now she might have been the worrier but uh she's wanting you not to worry so much and i don't she know was. i don't know if you get headaches or if anthony gets headaches but you both one of you needs to be drinking some water honey um and then there's something <laughs> Uh, do you leave your purse open? Like if you're in the grocery store and you put your purse in the little thing, do you accidentally leave it open? No, but every time her and I would go shopping, she I always forget my phone and my wallet, like on top of the counter. So she'd always be like, Natalie, I always have to grab it for you. Okay. She's, she's <laughs> referencing the purse. And did your little girl have a dollar bill or money in her mouth recently? She did not have... Did Delilah have money in her mouth recently, a dollar bill? Like she was playing no. with it? Okay. Well, she's telling me that she did, so you better watch out. <laughs> and the last thing is something <laughs> about a tractor. I don't know what the tractor means. It could be connected to the man, but she's referencing a tractor. Um, and I didn't, I'm going to say this, and it could be dead wrong, but she likes the pillows, or she likes the pillows on the bed, or the pillows on the sofa, or something with the pillows that you did. I just, I just got a new comforter set, and oh. I had, I had to lay on getting it. I get one every year, and this year I just didn't want to, and I just got one for um, yeah. our housewarming. Okay. And um, well, she likes it. She likes yeah. it a lot. And there's going to be a single balloon. <laughs> Pay attention to a balloon. A single balloon just floating out of nowhere. Delilah's birthday just passed. Okay. My daughter's birthday. She just turned two. Okay. Well, she was right Three there. Two weeks ago. Yeah, she was right there. I promise you, she was right there. And so try not to worry, seriously, because she's around you. You're going to make us cry, Natalie. Know, really? We're over here like, you're going to make our makeup run. <laughs> but she's around you. Please don't worry. And it's all going to come together. There's a contract coming for your husband or something work-related for the husband. That's going to help you guys out financially, too, okay? Wow. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I really appreciate it. You are so Thank welcome. You, I know. Oh, you made so our and, and can you guys just, I, I want her to know, Norma, if I, I if you ever want to play with Delilah and, and be with her in her room, please do so. I, I want her to know that Delilah is not scared. We, we keep her very alive. Oh, she's, oh, she does, just so you know. And I feel like her legs don't bother her anymore, and that? neither does her chest or her lungs. She's what was that? Her her legs don't bother her anymore, and her chest and lungs are okay now. Oh my 
God, you're kidding. No, no. She passed. Oh, my God. So she's giving you oh a big God. hug. She, she's around, I promise, okay? She passed um, due to stage four liver cancer in the last few months of her life. It was just so sudden. She would always cry because she couldn't carry but she would always say my legs hurt, she had blood clots, and she didn't have strength to carry her. She couldn't breathe. Oh, my goodness. Well, she is... And she, all she wanted was to carry Delilah. Oh, my... Well, yeah, she'll get to be around. She's... <laughs> look, girl, you have us Where's crying. Where's the Kleenex? Oh, I know. Oh, my gosh, really? Like, really? Oh, my God. Oh, so she's around you. She loves you guys. <laughs> and, then, and then she's literally looking we at her... We love her so much. She's looking at her son. She's like, how you <laughs> like me now? <laughs> <laughs> what is she saying? She looked at her son and she's like, "How you like me now?" Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> she won't stir the pot anymore in heaven. She promises. <laughs> so we have to oh, jump off man. the call. Thank you, Natalie. We Thank appreciate you, Natalie. it. Thank you. This was so worth the fifty-six attempts of trying to call you guys to get in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We adore you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Natalie. Oh my gosh. Have a Thank great you. Weekend. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. That is so sweet. Oh, that was oh my adorable. god! I know we yeah. we're gonna have to have Kleenex in here now. I know. I know. I was like, "Where's the Kleenex, Tony?" Just use your spanks. I kept. I did little. <laughs> I'll just keep thinking about cheese grits and shrimp so that I wouldn't try. <laughs> well, we have a lot of calls waiting, okay. so yes, let's, let's go, go ahead and go to the next one. I'm gonna say it's Ray Z, but I, I it could be wrong, and it's a automated uh, screener. So you're on air with Eddie and Rachel. Who, who you are? You? What's your name? Where you calling from? What's your birthday? and all that good stuff. <laughs> you there? Hello? 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 Hi. Yes. Hello? Yeah. Hi, I'm actually on the air. Yes, you yes, are. Yes, you are. My name is... Wow. Okay, so, hey, Tony, how are you? Uh, you guys, my name is Ray, and wow, that's that's a tough act to follow. That was really intense, you guys. I oh, don't know that lady, but I really thought that was amazing, the last call. We... Okay, so my name is Ray Vikas, and I am an architect and interior designer, a few years ago, I had terrible, terrible, terrible times in my architecture and interior design business, and I actually have now focused to do furniture. And uh, about a year ago, I decided to focus only on furniture. Now, this year, you guys, I have had record-breaking, record, record, record-breaking sales and record-breaking opportunities that I never would have imagined I would have had, okay? Lots of publicity. I'm, I've appeared in Angelino Magazine this month. Uh, crazy things that I would have never imagined a year ago. So my question is, uh, my my business, I have decided that the focus now is to provide and make and design furniture for hotels, bed and breakfast, luxury restaurants and nightclubs and casinos. So really to go for the volume of furniture. And then also I have a little bit of an obsession with designing for super yachts, and mega yacht and giga yachts, like major, you know, yachts in the world. Right now, the Monaco Yacht Show is going on. So next year, our focus is going to be um, threefold: publicity, get the name out there, get my name out there, continue to on that mode. Uh, number two, it's going to be to do furniture for the larger scale projects, and of course, number three, the super yachts. So I thought I'd call in and find out what is out there waiting for us fantastic (laughs) so so that's my question like what does next year look like for my company okay and what is your birth date uh july 12 1967 july 12th everybody's july today um so here's what i get right out of yeah oh well no wonder y'all sensitive and stuff and creative and artistic (laughs) um so here's the deal um I feel like you're going to need some help. And I think you've already dealt with that in your expansion, correct? You've already hired some extra people. And then you have some other people that are going to be in the holding tank getting ready for what the next expansion you do. Has that already happened, Ray? Yes, that has happened. Okay. And while you were speaking, there's two big new things coming up for you that's going to be – Huge contracts. Now, I'm going to say this because I'm scared I'm going to forget it. So there's something with you with New York. There's something with you in Las Vegas. And then there's something with you with the Far East. And I don't know if the Far East is manufacturing or if it's um, just uh, doing trade there or actually selling 
stuff uh, connected to what you're asking me about. But I keep getting this slow, steady, slow, steady, and they're repeating it methodically, slow and steady. And the reason for that is you have a tendency to go in and try to do everything by yourself. You're getting better about it. You're somewhat a perfectionist. You have to be very careful that you don't overextend yourself or you're going to smack somebody upside the head with the arm of a chair, okay? <laughs> um, also, this is... Oh my God, you are so right. You are so right. This is absolutely bizarre. Thank you. And so tell me, what, okay. what, what's the deal with your stomach, your digestive system. Do you have a scar, birthmark, or tattoo around your tummy, your hips, or your buttocks? Or are you just having... Well, I'm, I'm diabetic, and I wear a sensor on my stomach. Okay. A woman who's passed away is telling me to tell you you need to pay attention to that and, and take care of yourself a little bit better. You know what I mean when she says that? Yes, I do know what I mean. So who is this lady? Oh, girl, child, I don't know. <laughs> um, she's just some dead woman that follows you around. Uh, no, she's a family member, somebody that a family member or a close friend from your past. And what was the deal with the escalator? Was were you trying to carry something up an escalator, or what was the deal with the escalator and the stairs recently? Escalator or stairs recently? Yeah, it would be. We, like had a, we have a we have a project where the sofas are not going to fit inside the escalator. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. I was looking into placing that on top of the uh, elevator, not escalator, elevator. She knows about that. And was, yeah. And I literally, we went back and forth about that in my office and Jenny, my business associate said, wait, this is turning into a whole other project. How about we let it go and we make it in segments. And that way we don't get into trouble because yes. that could have been very dangerous to have two to three men above an elevator bringing in, you know, 10 foot sofas that I designed. Okay. And that, <laughs> and she was, she was in the room when that was happening and she says, and then I'm going to turn you over to Rachel cause we have a lot of calls in the, in the it backed up, but she's saying that don't be around Ray. If there's smudge marks on the glass, what does that mean? She says, don't be around Ray if there's smudge on the glass. Like if, if you're in the showroom, you don't want to see fingerprints on glass or mirrors. That I don't want to see that. Okay, that's what she no, said. No, of course I don't. I want, it, I want perfection. Yeah. yeah. There it is. <laughs> okay, but she's with she She watches over you really, really closely. So, you know, this is somebody who's passed away. I'm going to turn you over to Rachel because we have some more calls. Thank you, Ray. You're very easy and fun to read Thank for. you. <laughs> Hi, Ray. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, Rachel. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Um, well, I pulled some cards for you, and the first one I get is um, is the Empress. And the Empress is like the queen of creativity, mother, and all of that. Um, so I don't know if there's like a, a, your wife um, in your life right now who is a very is there, or a business partner who's a woman who's very... Um, mm -hmm. um, uh, very um, prominent in your life right now. Um, and I asked, oh, actually, oh, I forgot to tell you. I asked about the super yacht. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, you want, okay, tell me about that. So, okay, so the woman in your life, um, I feel like she's in your life. Um, she's going to be an influence on this super yacht. So maybe somebody, a woman in your life has an idea or there's something that you need to listen to um, about the super yacht. The next card I'm getting for you is the Nine of Wands, which is the discipline card. So kind of what Eddie was saying, you know, just kind of keep your head down and just really make sure that everything is the way you want it, not too fast, not too slow, just really just slow and steady wins the race kind of thing. So the discipline card is very good, especially since you are very diligent. That's not going to be a problem for you, which... That's very, that's a good quality to have. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next card I'm getting for you is, is the Knight of Wands. And that's, again, a comings and goings, a kindred spirit card. So I feel like it's the idea of doing the super yachts is something that you, that really excites you. And I feel like you should mm -hmm. really, you should really just, uh, you know, keep that not on the back burner, but just keep it kind of in your consciousness. If that's really like your goal, like, cause I don't know which one is more of your goal, but if that's kind of mm -hmm. something, just kind of keep that always in your forefront. Um, the underlying influence I'm getting is the, um, the four of pentacles. So that is the foundation card with an, also a pentacle on the top, 
with um so i feel like you have a great foundation already and then you're going to start getting new mm-hmm. ideas for this super yacht um situation and then um i also have um i just said kind of overall what what is the outcome of that and i got the six of wands oh. which is the victory card so i feel like you know maybe in mm-hmm. like six year like six months six years six six weeks something was very um i i'm, I'm feeling more like it's more of just like the victory card versus the number. And I also pulled the the foundation card. So just keep the foundation of your super yacht uh, idea. And I think just like keep building mm-hmm. the foundation because I really think it's going to be successful. And hold your cards close to your chest with the super yacht information. And I feel there will be a bleed through influence from some of the high end hotels Ooh, yes. where you're going to be furnishing for and you'll create something there and you'll be like, girlfriend, sister, diva, goddess of all <laughs> that is. Guess what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to modify it and I'm going to put it on Mariah Scary's yacht. And if she comes up yelling <laughs> at me, I'm going to scream to her, weave me alone because you know she wear a weave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the, tra- the travel okay, channel. Okay, you guys. This- yeah, the travel channel has that yacht. What? I've watched the yacht. Oh, yeah. I've watched the yacht shows actually on the and travel like, what, channel. Yeah. On the travel channel. So you might want to um, look up the travel channel or get an agent Super. or something that's going to help you with your marketing. Awesome. Towards that. And thank you, Ray Ray. Thank you Super. so much, Ray. <laughs> Everything makes a lot of sense, you guys. Thank okay. you so much. I really appreciate it. Yay. I know you gotta go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you guys right. soon. All right, bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. All right, well, we have just about seven, eight minutes left, so we've got to go right to the next call. All right, Rebecca, you are on with Rachel Hi. and Eddie. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. How are you guys? We're Great. good. How are you? Doing really good. It's so good to get to talk to you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'll get into it. I know you're running out of time. So my birthday is November 16th, okay. 1980. Okay. And um, lately in the last few years, I've had kind of uh, a lot of activations in like my spiritual gifts that I kind of had when I was younger, kind of a reawakening. And I was just wondering, um, what direction should I be taking that? Oh, look at you. Like well, I'm going to tell you up front, there's money coming to you. I know that's not what you're asking about, <laughs> but I've never met a single person that says, I don't want to <laughs> talk about being rich. I want to talk about my spiritual gifts. <laughs> Um, but you, you, <laughs> but you do, you have surprising money coming to you. This won't make sense. I don't think, but what's your connection with trains, railroad tracks, uh, uh, anything to do with that currently? Do you live near one, a, a railroad track or something? I don't, I used to. Okay. Then it's still strong in your energy field. Pay attention to it coming up for whatever reason. I'm also hearing the name Tom, Thomas, Tim, Timmy. Uh, Matt, Matthew, that's a T sound as in Tim, a M sound as in Matt, MT as in Matt, Tom, or Thomas, or Tim. Um, there's two, I want you to pay close attention to your dreams because Rebecca, they're telling me you've been really good at programming yourself. You've been literally programming yourself to receive more. And I'm going to tell you too, you just a little beacon of light walking around on the earth playing, honey, that's little moths like floating to the flame that is called Rebecca. You know what I mean by this? <laughs> so you, 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 yeah, kind of. <laughs> you've got more spirit guides and angels around you than what you normally have. And honestly, Honestly, I'm going to say, I feel like you're supposed to be doing this work in your unique, special way, whether it's reading cards, whether it's dream interpretation, Akashic Records, Reiki, whatever it is, you're going to be doing this work. There's also a lot of activity around your palms, which usually means healing for me uh, right off the shoot. And Mm -hmm. then there's going to be a Danny, Don, Dean. Do you have a person in your life, a male with a D or N? It could be female with a D or N as well. Now, a Danny, a Don, a D. Um. Not that I'm, oh, I have a friend named, I have a cousin, Daniel, yeah. Okay, and so pay attention to anything connected to the D or N or him specifically coming up, just so you know. And so we have about four minutes left. I'm going to turn you over to Miss Rachel, okay? Okay. Okay, Rebecca, I um, I pulled the um, the Four of Cups, which is um, kind of an, an offering card. So basically there's three cups that you already, so I feel like you already know you have gifts, you already kind of know what you're doing, but you're just kind of trying to, pick the right one to kind of go through, go for. Um, and I feel like the hand of God is yeah. is offering you. So there's something actually going to be coming up like right in your forefront. I don't know what that is, but I think you, something's going to be offered like very, very quickly. And then um, the next card I get for you is the queen of swords. So there's a woman that I think that is going to either be a mentor or somebody that you could talk to about this gift. 
um, and really kind of dir direct you in the, the right path on onto the right path for you. And then the next card I'm getting is the Page of Raj, which is the messenger card. So again, you're getting messages. And as Dan, um, Eddie was saying um, about your dreams, things just pay attention to the messages. It also means Sagittarius. So maybe some something that might be happening um, after your birthday um, into December. And then the underlying influence is the moon. Again, dream state. Um, and th the crab is like kind of going on this dark path. But what this card really means is that even though the, the you don't know exactly where you're going, you just have to stay the course of this path because um, I think that's where you're going to find you're going to be have a lot of rewarding work that you're going to be doing. And then just for some clarification, I pulled um, the Ace of Pentacles, which is a giant hand from God with the pentacle, and um, there's an arch. And basically I feel like once uh, next spring you're going to really have – have a have a better sense of what you want to do with that and again i'm getting another woman card so i just feel like there's gonna there's a couple women that are around you that are really gonna help hone you or and help guide you in the right direction yeah i also feel like you're gonna be teaching classes or be teaching instructing in some way shape or form and did you recently just clean your car out or do you need to clean the car out <laughs> just recently did just cleaned it out Okay, I know it sounds nuts, but there's people around you in the spirit world that's like we were sitting there when she was cleaning the car out. So I don't know what you were doing, if you were doing invocations, if you were singing Michael Jackson's Off the Wall or whatever. <laughs> um, they, were around, <laughs> they were around you. And you know you're kind of silly. You're, you're silly and you're funny. You don't act your age and you're very youthful in your energy. But at the same time, you're an old soul. So you will act more mature than you are, even though you're an old soul with a really young, effervescent, playful heart. Yeah. Scorpio with Gemini rising. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, see, that's it. That's OK. I can, what's your moon? Do you know what your moon is? Oh, shoot. No, I don't. Uh, maybe Virgo. I don't know. Okay. Well, that would be the sensitivity piece. But yeah, it was, I think, what do you think about Scorpio with uh, Gemini rising? Well, anything with Gemini, you're all, you're always able to do two things at once. Very good communicating. So like if you want to start delving into the communication of the spirit world, all of that, it's it's all like Eddie was saying earlier, yeah. the practice and honing in on the meditation and just really figuring out what medium no pun intended, that you want to follow, <laughs> whatever speaks to you. And maybe, okay. you, know, and you know, you might want to write out the question before you go to bed, like which thing and, and put uh, put under your pillow, write out a question. What mediumship would you like yeah. to go through and then see what comes up in the next morning? Perfect. Write it down. And, and lastly, and then we have to jump off the whole the show's over, but uh, <laughs> find out something with the uh, railroad tracks. If there's somebody in your family who died that was connected to railroads, transportation, steel or something like that. OK. Okay, I will. Thank you. Thanks, Rebecca. Thank you so Thanks, much, Rebecca. Rebecca. You're fantastic. Yay. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> you Bye. are. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, guys, if the people are still on hold, we're so sorry that we won't be able to get to you because uh, we have another show coming in at 6 o'clock, Shar Vision. So we hope you stick around for that. But we definitely want to thank Rachel and Eddie for doing a great <laughs> job yeah. today. And uh, we do these usually once a month. And uh, in October, because it's Paranormal Month, is uh, we have a lot of great guests that are going to be mostly paranormal. And we may doing be doing something at the last Friday of October. But we hope you guys, uh, we don't know what that is yet. We have some great guests, but we don't know what actually that is. I don't think we're going to do a psychic call-in show. But we may. We never know. <laughs> we never know. <laughs> you never go know. with the flow. That was a <laughs> teaser, Tony. That was a big teaser. We might, but. You don't, I don't. You never know. Eat. You never know. <laughs> but things can happen but in a month. Tune in. But tune in right here. All right. Well, we want to get. We got to get out of here. So we want to thank everybody for tuning in. We would really, 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 really appreciate you uh, for joining us every Friday. And we want to thank that uh, sixty-two hundred subscribers on YouTube now, and uh, we're almost a half a million views. So we want to thank you guys for doing that for us, yeah. joining us every week, listening to our shows, watching our shows, sharing. Uh, our shows here, all the comments we get, re uh, referrals and uh, suggestions on on uh, guests. So we want to thank you for doing that. But Eddie, Connor dot com, Rachel, I have your contact information down below. So working on the website. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. But give her a call three one zero nine one six nine four seven four. If you're local or anywhere, anywhere, you can give her a call. Set set up an appointment. So we're out of here. So truth be told, with Tony and Eddie, I'm Tony Sweet. I'm Eddie Connor, and I'm Rachel Angeline. <laughs>
And we're out. So we'll see you next time right here on Truth Be Told. Bye. Hey, thank you for listening to Truth Be Told with Tony and Eddie right here on Universal Broadcasting Network. Make sure you go to our iTunes page. Just type in Truth Be Told with Tony and Eddie. Listen to us on iHeartRadio. Again, Truth Be Told with Tony and Eddie. And go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, and please, please, please leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. So please support our sponsors and make sure you listen to us every Friday right here on Universal Broadcasting Network from 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Until then, have a good week. 